all right good morning guys so to follow up with the last video with the trailer maintenance issues and the uh trailer damage and you know or i already said that too early and the the maintenance and the trailer issues so if you didn't see the last video i was in the middle of doing some maintenance change out the hub oil all that good stuff checking bearings brakes blah 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 uh all the caps need to be replaced i ordered four new ones well i replaced one ordered four new ones so I, and i have one spare they all started cracking as i was turning off um not a big deal ordered more they needed to be replaced anyway it was on my list and then we got the cracks in the frame so now to go into detail i have one crack on the leaf spring mount and then i have which isn't that big of a deal that one was like an easy fix now the one that was like okay maybe i need to because i can weld um that's on actually what i was going to do uh work wise until i got into this i went to school and stuff but that's besides the point so the other one there is on there's a you know some trailers come equipped with a torque tube like mine mine has a torque tube that runs through you know prevent twisting and all that now the end of the torque tube under the axle side not in the front it connects to a, a flat plate that's a cross member now where that cross member is connected to the actual uh c channels is cracked like all the way through it's kind of not that great i mean it's not horrible but it's not that good either so um, I finally, we finally figured out now, also side note, Diamond C, they've been awesome. They, uh, customer service wise, they've helped me out really good. I'm really hoping that this shop that I'm taking it to, um, does a good job and you know, it'll be moved on, but Diamond C did great customer service wise. Um, just like they always have, you know, that's what they're known for. So we're on the way right now to go get, we're going to go take the trailer there. They're going to fix it. I also having them price out some 14 plies. Uh, hopefully they give me a pretty reasonable price because I'd rather support local um, instead of Amazon. Uh, it's just sometimes it's really hard to, but you know, if it's like, you know, a small difference, you know, then I don't mind it going to a local shop, especially in a time of need, like right now. Um, but we'll see, you know, if, you know, they come out, you know, two, three hundred dollars more, you know, I just, I can't do that. You know, I, I can't help somebody and hurt myself. Um, but you know, we'll see. He said he's getting back to me, uh, quote wise. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, I guess. So uh, let's go hook up the trailer. All right, guys. So we got the update from the trailer, and we're gonna go pick it up. They, I called this morning, so I think I dropped it off on, like, I don't know, Thursday or something. Was it Thursday, Thursday morning, I want to say. And then obviously, you know, we had a long <clears throat> holiday weekend, and. Um, called this morning and they said it was done so we're gonna go pick it up they uh they fixed the two cracks in it and then they said they checked the whole thing over um but as far as that goes that's really it now i had them look at the uh the breakaway cable because that wasn't the battery wasn't charging they're saying it might be a problem with my they got it to charge and they're saying so it might be a problem with my truck which I don't know i kind of find hard to believe but you know it could it very well could be you know just because it's new doesn't mean it don't work but everything else works flawlessly trailer wise like you know the braking and then all the lights turn signals all that so i don't really know so we're gonna have to look at that but they're saying that the battery's charging uh, with them um, so i'm gonna ask if they found any like faults or anything or, or whatever but i don't know we're on the way to go pick it up it's like 30 minutes away so let's get to it So four new caps. And then, so we're gonna get all, all the oil changed out and then all the caps replaced. 
I'm not pulling the wheels off to do them though. Take a new one. Alright, so we are going to go get everything finished up. We're going to go get, so the stickers were on the door. We're going to go put them right here, and then these are getting redone. Same thing on the other side. So the whole logo and everything will be right there. Alright, what's up guys? So another day, this is like, I don't know how many days we're going to end up in this video. But, um, we are currently, we're going to the, uh, what would you even call it? The vinyl shop, the wrap shop, you know, whatever. My local wrap shop, the one that made all my logos and, and the, you know, if you guys paid attention, there used to be stickers on the door. Um, I took those off because I got the, I don't know even know if I mentioned that, but I got the truck fully paint corrected. Um, so, but I don't want them on the door anymore. And uh, so they're gonna go on the back glass. You know, I had all the paint fixed up. I just, I'm not a fan of stickers really to begin with. And I definitely am not a fan of stickers on paint. So, and they were peeling. And I was getting the truck paint corrected. So it like all made sense. It was like three in one. So that's what we're going to go do right now. And then obviously I got the trailer back yesterday. You've already seen that I got the trailer back. And then I'm going to order, I'm ordering today um, 14 pies for the trailer. So I... For the ones of you that have been actually following my videos for a long time, you know I have like the worst luck with trailer tires, and it's just time for those 10 plus to go. I'm I'm sick of dealing with them. Um, so and then so I just gotta get the stickers on the window, and then I just gotta get the trailer tires on there. And I am like I had a I'm not gonna lie, I had a pretty long like neglected list of like small things that needed to be done um, before I kind of stopped running because of the virus. So after I get these tires on, that's it. I mean, I'm everything is set, everything is fully maintenance, everything's changed, fixed, repaired, up to date, paperwork. Like it's all done. We're all good. Um, I paid my insurance policy off. I don't know anything for like another three and a half months, um, and then I'll be switching insurance. Um, so my insurance policy is that's it. No more insurance payments for like three months, which is awesome. And I wish we were, you know, everything was busier so I could really um, get the full benefit out of that. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. So I can't complain too much about that. It's just at least the payment I don't have to worry about for a couple more months. And my new, my new insurance policy will be, it's like 800 something dollars less. 
but that doesn't start till August. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go get these stickers on and uh, we'll go from there. Well, there you have it. All right, guys, well, that's it. Um, all the truck chores are done. Um, the only thing I got left is, I think we're gonna go order some um, 14 pot trail tires, but uh, besides that, that's it. So uh, hopefully the next uh, video will be um, of actually working, not uh, doing chores. So see you then.